Hey, what's up? My name is Daniela and welcome to a new video. So in this video I will list all the books I read last year plus the rating I gave them and also I'm going to briefly mention my DNFs. I think it's nice to have this summary of all the books I read and also I realized that if something happened to my data on Goodreads that would be devastating although I have started entering my data into a Excel spreadsheet but you can't never have too many backups so yeah. Without further ado, let's jump into the video. So first I'm going to talk about the DNFs. So when people started talking about their DNFs and they had separate videos for it, I thought, well, I didn't DNF anything in 2019, but turns out it's not true. So I looked at Goodreads and apparently I DNFed three things in 2019 and then I promptly forgot about them. But yeah, the first thing I DNF'd in 2019 was Needful Things by Stephen King. So this was the first Stephen King book I attempted after talking about how I want to try one of his books for like a decade. And unfortunately it didn't grip me, especially the characters, although the story sounded interesting. It was like about this shop that appears in a small town and the owner is kind of weird and then like Everyone can find exactly the right thing they want in that shop, but it comes at a price. And you know, that sounded great, but yeah, I wasn't invested enough, so I DNF'd it. The second thing I DNF'd was a non-fiction book called The Happiness Advantage by Sean Anker. And this I listened to on audiobook and it wasn't bad, but I just found it hard to concentrate on it and it didn't really stick with me, there were some terms so I thought that it would be better if I read it as a physical book so I might come back to it in the future because yeah, I didn't have a problem with it except for the fact that I couldn't concentrate on it in the audiobook format. And the third book I DNF'd was From Twinkle with Love by Cindy Aminen. So this is a young adult contemporary about a girl who like wants to become a photographer or videographer and I read like only two chapters and it, yeah, again it didn't grip me and I thought that probably it wasn't for me. Yeah, I don't think I will pick this up in the future. So these are all the books I recorded as a DNF on Goodreads. I probably should have DNF more but that's a discussion for another time. Now let's look at all of the books I finished in 2019. I read a total of 79 books so yeah, let's start. Illuminate by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff, 4 stars. Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell, 5 stars. The Wife Between Us by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pikanen. 5 stars. The Kiss Quotient by Helen Huang, 5 stars. Divergent by Veronica Roth, 4 stars. Lethal White by Robert Gilbraid, aka J.K. Rowling, 5 stars. Travel Bible by Matos Vinch and Petra Novak, 4 stars. Stranger Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, 4 stars. The Stranger by Harlan Coben, 4 stars. You Are a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero, 3 stars. Truly Madly Guilty by Leon Moriarty, 3 stars. Insurgent by Veronica Roth, 4 stars. An Abundance of Catherines by John Green, 2 stars. Saga Volume 6 by Brian K. Wogan and Fiona Staples, 4 stars. Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, which was a reread, and 5 stars. Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating by Christina Lauren, 5 stars. Taj Heart Still Story by Catherine Ormsby, 5 stars. Reasons to Stay Alive by Matt Haig, 4 stars. The Knack of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness, 2 stars. Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid, 5 stars. Girl Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis, 4 stars. The Four Tendencies by Gretchen Rubin, 3 stars. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets, which was a reread and 4 stars. Charlotte's Web by E.B. White, 3 stars. Allegiant by Veronica Roth, 3 stars. An Anonymous Girl by Greer Hendricks and Sarah Pikanen, 5 stars. Let's Talk About Love by Claire Kahn, 3 stars. Rising Strong by Brené Brown, 5 stars. The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon, 5 stars. Binti by Enedi Okorafor, 3 stars. Pride by Ibi Boy, 3 stars. The Witch Doesn't Burn in This One by Amanda Lovelace, 3 stars. New Stars and Cherry Tarts at the Cozy Kettle by Liz Ellis, 4 stars. Hot Pursuit by Rebecca Freeborn, 3 stars. You by Caroline Kepnes, 
three stars. The life-changing magic of tidying up by Marie Kondo, which was a reread and four stars. Better than before by Gretchen Rubin, four stars. Lagoon by Nikki Brandmark, three stars. Outer Order in a Calm by Gretchen Rubin, three stars. The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson, five stars. Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng, four stars. Nine Perfect Strangers by Leon Moriarty, four stars. Behind Her Eyes by Sarah Pinborough, three stars. Wedding Night by Sophie Kinsella, four stars. Economics by Michael Goodwin, three stars. Digital Minimalism by Carl Newport, three stars. 13 by Steve Kavanagh, four stars. Wild Beauty by Anna Marie McLemore, four stars. Happier at Home by Gretchen Rubin, two stars. Get Your Shit Together by Sarah Knight, four stars. Red, White and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston, five stars. The Year of Less by Kate Flanders, four stars. Throne of Glass by Sarah J. Miles, four stars. I Owe You One by Sophie Kinsella, three stars. Believe Me by J.P. Delaney, four stars. Notes on a Nervous Planet by Matt Haig, five stars. Girl Stop Apologizing by Rachel Hollis, four stars. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, which was a reread and five stars. Confessions of a Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella, three stars. Circle Girls by Claire Regrand, three stars. The Stopping Place by Helen Slovene, two stars. What if it's us by Becky Albacelli and Adam Silvera, four stars. Your Money or Your Life by Vicky Robin, four stars. Everybody Lies by Seth Stevens Davidovich, Four stars. Sleeping Giants by Sylvain Novell, four stars. City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab, four stars. The Raven Boys by Maggie Stevewater, four stars. The Fletcher by Beth O'Leary, five stars. The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey, two stars. Four Christmases and a Secret by Zara Stoneley, three stars. Everything is Figure Outable by Marie Forleo, five stars. The Institute by Stephen King, five stars. Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, which was a reread and five stars. Let It Snow by Maureen Johnson, John Green and Lauren Miracle, which was a reread and four stars. The Afterlife of Holy Chase by Cynthia Hand, four stars. One Week Till Christmas by Belinda Misson, three stars. Wishes by V.E. Schwab, three stars. Eternal Life by Dara Horn, three stars. And lastly, Radio Silence by Alice Osman, four stars. So yeah, these are all the books I read in 2019. Let me know how many books you read, if you read any of these or leave me any other comment. If you want to follow me on social media, I have links to my Goodreads, Twitter and Bookstagram in the description. And also if you want to support me, there are also links for Book Depository, Script and Skillshare if you want to use any of these services. But yeah, that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!